You're no stranger to documentaries. What what lured you into Jazz Fest? Uh, I I love documentaries. A, uh, you know, and I, being able to combine music and film for me, I love music and I love film. And I, it just seemed like the right thing to do, you know. It's kind of a dream come true. The perfect combo. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and Jazz Fest is not just about jazz, which was the other good thing. It's about all kinds of music. And to be able to showcase what happens at the festival with the, these incredible musicians and the culture of New Orleans and the food of New Orleans, to bring that all together and make it feel like you're there, that was our goal. And it's the return of this festival, and you just mentioned that goal, but what do you want people to like really learn to and take away from this? Because that was that's a different festival beast in its own. This is... No, no, that... Jazz oh, Jazz Fest. Well, I think that, you know, everybody can live together. It's a, you know, it's a melting pot there. It's a gumbo, if some people call it. But uh, you see how different cultures can live together and I think that's what we got to try and figure out here it's uh, the, the music is the glue and all the different kinds of musics that are bought brought by the different cultures you go oh wow you know you go in the gospel tent that's magic but then you might end over here at, at the Zydeco and Cajun tent you know and people you see people responding to these different kinds of entertainment and I think they'll, a jazz funeral. They have a jazz funeral that we cover. You know, I'd want one of those. Who wouldn't want one of those, you know? So it's, uh, it's really the spirit of the festival that I think is, I want to come out and the hope. Everybody has hope. They, they rolled with the punches. They had a lot of hurricanes, one really bad one, and they kept coming back. And not until we got to COVID did they get shut down but for two years, and now we're back. And, and music is so universal, M music, food. Why, why do you think that is for some people? It's soulful. It, it, it touches the soul, you know? The, the music gets in your heart, and the food gets in your stomach. <laughs> that, that was pretty good. <laughs> so, and getting, go, getting through all this footage, you know, it's been around for so long. Yeah. What, what was your favorite thing seeing, like putting, putting this together, or like, or like your favorite performer? Well, my favorite thing putting it together was we found 16 millimeter footage that even Quint didn't know existed that was in the foundation, and it was his hymn at his first festival with George Ween coming up in 1970 with Mahalia Jackson talking about the birth of jazz in New Orleans and how he hired him, and he's running there like a kid. You'll see him. He's dan I don't know how he learned to dance. He's Doing it. Wait till you see him. It's hilarious. And he didn't know he saw it. Uh, I'm sorry, he didn't know he was in it until he went, well, you got to take that out. I, like, I know, you're a skinny old kid there. But, but you're dancing and you're doing it, and he's now been doing it for 50 years. Pretty great. That's favorite. And how exciting has it been working together? Oh, coming we, along? We've had a great time. Could not have done this without him because there were 70,000 musicians eight days, you know, 60 stages. I didn't have enough people to cover it, so we had three camera crews, and I had a co-director, Ryan Suffern, and he and I would piggyback on different, we were never together. He would do one thing, I would do an interview, he'd do a band, and sometimes on the big ones like Pitbull or Jimmy Buffett or Katy Perry or Earth, Wind & Fire, we would have all the cameras and we would have all of us covering it because it's such a wide expanse of uh, area that they're playing to. Um, but without him, we would not have got Samantha Fish. We would not have found Boyfriend, um, Tank and the Bankers. We would not have found them, and they're wonderful, wonderful parts in the movie. 